Anyone who's watched the controversial Season 3 of the Metabots anime, or perhaps has played Metarot R or the translation patch of them, will know this particularly blocky tank type well. It is TND Zero Tank Dunk, coming to the game with a kit of Napalm, Missile, Gatling, Tank Legs, and the leg ability of Bullet Rain, which buffs the power and success of equipped shooting parts if the number equipped exceeds that of the targets. Now, it is honestly really nice to see another... Um, OG from the olden days essentially make his official return and debut into modern titles, but unfortunately that the the nostalgia that he that he brings with him is kind of unfortunately where it ends in terms of what he is bringing to the table. Nate Palm is a gunpowder based skill with a scattered AOE, which means it will damage one part at normal and then two other parts at random at th at one third of your total damage. Uh, right arm of missile is another stand basic gunpowder attack, but instead of being a scattered AOE. It is instead a full AoE, meaning that it will damage all four parts evenly across the board and spread the damage. And the left arm of Gatling is a standard shooting attack instead, which also is a scattered AoE. So once again, one part at normal damage, um, and then two others at random at one third of the damage. Unfortunately, however, as I said, that is kind of where Tank Dunk's viability across the board does kind of end. Even though he does, he is packing some relatively solid stats across the board, about 3200 HP for that head, about 3250 per arm, and about 43, almost 4400 for the legs, is actually not too shabby. Um, kind of expected of a heavy, clunky tank type like he is, especially given that he is a tank-legged type, naturally. He, uh, he does also get that natural uh, and passive 30% damage reduction across the board when, tank when tanking blows. But that's about it, really. Because all three of his skills are AoE or scattered AoE, his damage is going to be kind of all over the place, meaning you're not going to have a lot of consistent damage across the board, even if the scattered is more consistent than the, than the full AoE. On top of that, he is also packing some very low uh, heat, uh, heat stats across the board, more akin to maybe high-end parts such as, say, um, Laser or Hyper Beam or Ghost or Ghost Shot, but without the extra damage bonus that comes with it, sadly. With, an, with his average heat across the board ranging between the mid-400s to the, to the low 600s at the very, very highest, um, except, of course, for the heat stat at about 700 for his left arm, that's really about it. I mean, he he is boasting relatively solid power at about 1600 or 14 between 14 and 1600 per part, which isn't too bad. Um, but because it is an AOE, that damage is going to get split, meaning it's not going to be very consistent across the board. And then, of course, with him being tank legs, he is going to have some somewhat abysmal mobility across the board. But at 532, I wouldn't necessarily say he is the worst of the bunch, uh, but definitely not the greatest of them either. For these reasons, I do have to rate Tank Dunk across the board at a pretty solid 3.5 out of 10 as a pure set. Again, he's tanky, he's clunky, which does work to his advantage, and his leg ability does actually make his, make his arms hit just a little bit harder than you may expect, as long as that condition can be met. But unfortunately, because they are all AoE or scattered AoE, his damage will not be consistent and therefore not overall viable to use as a pure set. As mixed parts, on the other hand, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at a 4.5 out of 10. In the rare instance where his legs are probably going to be the, one of the only and most valuable parts on him. Because in comparison to, say, Sekizo, who has moderate stats across the board and a leg ability that makes him faster, Tank Dunk trades the ability to go fast, I guess you can call it, with an ability with a leg ability that gears it towards shooting base skills. So if you're in a rare instance such as say a PvP battle or an EX trial that prohibits any leg but tank and you absolutely are forced to use them, I'd say consider raising tank dunks legs at least a three star just so you have one that you can use on your dedicated shoot nukers so that you can benefit from it, even at the cost of of course having no evade and a very poor mobility at the best. 